Welcome back. Time to go into the 814. We're so happy to have Caitlin Moffitt, our newest meteorologist who's joining the WTAJ Weather Authority team on the show today. Caitlin, yes. thanks for stopping by. Of course. Thanks for having me. We were just joking in the break that yesterday was your first day. Mm -hmm. You just came from three years forecasting in Minnesota <laughs> and you brought the snow. Yeah, uh, Duluth, Minnesota, where I was at for the last three years and sure enough, the first day the cold and the <laughs> snow it seems to kind of just follow me. Our trip back, 18 hours of snow, freezing oh rain, it just gosh. seemed to kind of go with me. Yes. <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> but you made it here yes. safe and summer. So happy to mm -hmm. have you here in the one four. And you are a little closer yes. to what you call home, which is right near Redding, you said? Yeah, uh, I'm in Berks County, so a little bit further east of this viewing area of central PA and more so eastern PA. Uh, but my family lives right outside of the Redding PA area. So uh, only about a two and a half hour drive from nice. here now. You know, so I'm, I'm sure super a lot excited. shorter than when you were in Minnesota. <laughs> 18 hours, yeah. yeah, very far drive. Or hopping on a plane. Th and that's normally how we were able to come yeah. home. Yeah, wow. Um, also, fun fact. <laughs> You're a twin. I am. And we've I'm, got a photo. Yes. Let's take a look. I am a twin bro. I have a twin brother. He's Aww. actually 45 to an hour minute uh, younger than me. So we're not born at the same time. I was born, and then I cried and screamed for about an hour, <laughs> and then he was born. Uh, of course, there was my family, uh, my biggest supporters, my Aww. sister there. We went to the Curve game a couple years ago, uh, and of course my fiance who just proposed to me last year in oh, August. Congrats! Uh, so it's been a crazy year. It's been full of a lot of a good, whirlwind. good memories, but. But uh, it's been exciting. And of course, Lake Superior, it's beautiful. If you ever get a chance to visit Duluth, Minnesota, really? highly recommend it. That's it really is. Stunning. It's so, was stunning. that around sunset or was that early morning? That was sunrise. And I will tell you, the air temp was about 15 below before the wind chill. <laughs> wow. But in the. In the summertime, mm. did you ever go swimming in the lake? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the beaches were packed all the time. Water temp? It's cold. It's yeah. just like as if you're going in the lake anywhere else. It's going to be cold, but I mean, it's it's beautiful. It really is. The I air temps, you can't yeah. beat it. Well, if you like swimming and stuff, you're going to have to check out Racetown Lake. I that saw is we're really close to that fun. here. So yeah, that's exciting. And it's not as chilly as what, <laughs> I figured. As what I'm sure the, <laughs> not great, in the far north. The great lakes. Uh, yes. Also, you have some ties to the curve, mm -hmm. your brother Edward. Yeah, so uh, Altoona has kind of been a familiar name for me for a while just because my brother Ed or Edward, uh, he's been working for the curve for several years. He moved here in 2017. Yeah. So we've been visiting here and there, and then I moved to Duluth. So, you know, we've got to go to a few Altoona uh, baseball games. Super fun, of course. <laughs> Uh, so, of course, I've been kind of a little bit more familiar with the area here yeah. and there. What are you most looking forward to about being here in Central PA and yeah. joining TAJ? Yeah, I'm excited to uh, get back to one. This is my home state, yes. and I was born and raised in Pennsylvania, just outside of the Ring area, so I'm slightly familiar with uh, State College area. I've been up there as well. You know, I'm, I went to school in Pittsburgh, so I've kind of been all over the state. Yeah. I kind of am back in the center. My family is to the east. My fiance's family is to the west. So it's we're kind yeah, of really perfect. perfect. Yeah, I'm excited for a different change in pace for the weather. It, and you know, Joe told me it can be a challenge with the hills and the valleys. Yeah, just as I had with Lake Superior uh, in Duluth. So I mean, each area. That's good up. though. It mm -hmm. gave you that experience, and our viewers definitely will be looking to you to help get us through. Hopefully, I mean, I'm not a big skier, mm -hmm. so I'm saying hopefully <laughs> not uh, too much more snow coming, but we know we've yes. got a lot of snow lovers here in the area. Hey, it's only January. Do you ski? <laughs> I've only skied once actually uh, in my entire life and took me quite a bit to figure out the ski lift, <laughs> oh, uh, the to ski get off the ski lift and not fall. That was probably my hardest, tell, uh, oh. my hardest task, but it was a lot of fun. It really is. I'm not a yeah. huge skier like Joe, but. <laughs> I know, but you know what? A lot of people who come, if they want to, once they join, you know, TAJ family, he's always like, I'll teach you how to ski. Between that and curling, he's been uh, oh, talking about, you know, the he's curling. He's been getting it <laughs> on me about the curling. I've tried it once in Duluth. It, I did it once was last it year. It was very fun, but it's hard. You work muscles that you don't even realize really? you're working. The next, yeah, it, it's, it's a challenge. Maybe I will have to give it a go. <laughs> Caitlin, thank you so much for coming on, and we're going to be seeing a lot of oh, yes, you. Oh, yes, I'll so be here. <laughs> I love the energy already. Thank you. And the dimples. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Moffitt, our newest meteorologist here at WTNJ, welcome to the 814 family. Still to come on the show,